Hi folks, welcome to Revision. Today I'm continuing my weekly price guide series. Last week I launched a price guide that discuss all the optimal prices to sell items at with your uh, main mats. And it got a lot of good feedback from people, so I'm going to continue to do it. But in case any of you were wondering how it works, basically, I take your main mats like temper alloys, Druze wax, rosins, platings, ethereal dust, perfect row, and so forth, and I calculate what is called the optimal price range to sell the mat. And then from there, you can decide how you want to price your product. But I like to give the optimal price range so people know exactly how the market is doing and if certain mats go up or down on the market, uh, we will definitely keep on top of that. And also in my price guide series, I give um, a weekly pick of a certain item that's not mat related, and I'll be doing that later on in this video. So let's get started. Uh, temper alloys have dropped down to the 5.5k range. Um, that is what they are selling at right now. So they continue to make a downward uh, trajectory. And who knows, it might even go into the 4k range if it keeps getting bad. But for now, temper alloys are selling between 5.5k and 6k range. Druze wax also on the low end. That's selling between 3 to 4k. I haven't seen anyone yet go go below that 3k range, but I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there that does it. Um, but you can get them very cheap right now. Druze wax definitely a great buying opportunity, but not a good selling opportunity. Rossins pretty much remaining the same on the market, uh, selling between. 8k and 8.7k as the optimal price range. Blue plating still at 11 to 12k. They are not really budging too much on this. I'm hoping it goes down to 10k so it can become uh, reasonable once more to buy. But for now, that's what it is. 11 to 12k is the market price. Uh, purple plating is pretty much the same as last week uh, between 25k and 28k is the optimal price range uh, yellow plating yellow plating seems to be getting um, going down slightly uh, into the 87k range uh, but it still has a high of 90k depending on what market you're in if you're in more and hold and you see a supply shortage then you can jack it up to 90k as a price but 87, 88K, that seems to be what people are selling them at right now. Refined Platinum took a little bit of a dip also. It's now going into the 10K range, but still 10K for Refined Platinum, still outrageously priced, and the shortage is still very much there. Um, who knows when this is going to go back down to normal levels, but for now... Great selling opportunity on refined platinum. Uh, Potent Nurncrux is hovering in the 14k range. Not not a whole lot of movement in price on that. I don't see any upticks or downticks on that. Um, same with Fortified Nurn uh, Fortified Nurncrux. That's hovering between 1 to 2k. Uh, pretty much after the anniversary event, that's when it took the biggest beating. In price and that's why it's so cheap right now and it'll be that way probably for the next month or two until the demand upticks on that here's a big one ethereal dust this is also taking a beating on the market down to 165k to 169k as an optimal price range they do not want to buy it at 200k for those of you that are trying to price this thing at 200k good luck because you might be sitting on it for 30 days. I'm not saying you won't sell it at 200k, but everybody's coming in at that price or lower, and more so on the lower end. So if you want to make it as a quick sale, I definitely recommend you put it in that 165 to 169k range, because that will at least have a good fighting chance of selling it. Perfect row, not much movement between 15k to 16k range. Um, 
Uh, like I said, the people don't like to do a whole lot of fishing, so that's why it's still high in price, and that's why it's reflective of that. As for EXP potions, not much movement on the 50% to one. Um, it's been selling between 4 to 5k. Now, if you're not in the Mournhold market, you're going to probably want to sell it almost into the upper 3k range just because people want everything dirt cheap outside of Mournhold. Um, obviously, if you're in a Mournhold trader, you want to price it in the 4 to 5k range, but outside of Mournhold, they're probably going to want it cheaper. So, just giving you the heads up there. The 100% potions are between 13k to 15k range in price. Um, you know, not much movement on that. It's just potions are not, they're basically falling in demand. Not too many people buying them right now. That will change if they are going to do mid year mayhem again come June. But again, that's a wait and see. If you're selling the 150% potions, I recommend you start going into the 45k range on that one because everybody's coming in now at 50k range and there's a lot of competition right now on the market on it. So it's it's taken a beating and if Ethereal Dust is heading into the 165k range, you're going to want to set your potions close to 50k or slightly below that maybe 48k uh, to get the sale on it but you know it's it's not looking good on that so it's a market that's dying and you know continues to drop in price now my pick of the week um, because i said i was going to do a pick of the week um, outside of mats it's going to be the sea giant motif because i was doing some shopping on it uh, yesterday and I wanted to buy my whole set of collections for it. And just a couple observations I noted while I was purchasing um, some of these motifs. Uh, the, heart, the most expensive one by far, and this typically goes for most motifs. I'm not saying it's always this way, but for the most part it is. Uh, the chess piece is usually the most expensive. But I did get a good deal on it at 48 k uh, when I went to buy it, uh, but that was the cheapest I saw it. And I looked in a buttload of traders um, for that chess motif to be really cheap. And I went to all the main trader locations, and 48K is the best that um, they can come up with on that. So I bought it at 48K. Um, no biggie for me. But um, if you're looking to sell the chess piece, um, the price point you probably want to use... If you're in Mournhold, probably between 60 to 70k if you want a, a good sale. If you're outside of Mournhold, then you might have to go below 60k depending on the market. But like I said, I looked everywhere and 48k was the cheapest. So there's your bottom threshold on the chess piece. All the other pieces seem to be pretty reasonable to find and they've been on average in the 30k range. Um, so if you price point it below 30k, you'll probably make the sale a lot quicker. Now it depends. Certain, like I said, when you're selling motif pieces, not all the pieces are going to be the same price. You can't just use a blanket price on all of them. You got to be smart about it and see which is, you know, plentiful in supply and what's not. So when you're price pointing these motifs, you know, just See see what the competition is selling it for before you price point it. But on on average, 30k for most of these motifs, and uh, for the chess piece, uh, the average price is about 60k. So that's my pick of the week. And uh, one small note before I head off here, um, there are a couple of changes I denoted in Mournhold. Um, I don't know if people have been uh, watching this, but there is a guild war going on between the Tamriel Finest faction on Xbox and um, the Dragonborn Guild. And they've been going at it for weeks. And Dragonborn has now returned to Mournhold. And I don't know, not a lot of people know this, but Dragonborn was pretty much almost the number one supplier in Mournhold. So when you have the number one supplier in Mournhold making a resurgence into Mournhold, and they took out. Um, a particular guild that didn't have so great a supply on hand, 
what that's going to do on the market is send the uh, prices downward because of the excess supply. So this is a factor that not many people think about when they're buying stuff out in Mournhole, but it makes a big difference in price when there's a guild war going on. And when you have a major supplier coming in and out of the region, that does affect sales. People don't realize it, but it does affect sales. So just wanted to give a commentary on that. Again, this is for Xbox, uh, this price guide. And, you know, PC prices are very different from console. So please keep that in mind that you're going to see a big difference in the price breakdown if you're trying to compare it to PC because they have a lot bigger player base than we do, uh, to my knowledge. And there's a lot more volume that goes on. All right, folks, so that concludes my price guide uh, series for this week. If you like this video, please hit the like button and become a subscriber. I put out videos on Elder Scrolls Online each and every week, and I'll see you next time.